Okay, everybody, uh, you, you're you probably wondering how to make a climber graph, and rather than demo it in class and have things not go well, I'll make this video tutorial for you. So we are going to find Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and worldclimate.com. We can even type in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And here we have Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And what we're going to go do is we are going to get the data from Eau Claire, Wisconsin put into a spreadsheet. As before, with the line graph you constructed, you can enter this in manually, but what I would suggest you do is paste it in and it'll save you some time. You can pick either Celsius or Fahrenheit. If you pick uh, Celsius, you want to stick with metric when you get your precipitation. I'm going to do Fahrenheit because I am an American. You don't really need for the year. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into Excel, and I already have something here that I made before, and I'm just going to paste that. Now I'm pasting it special and I'm going to paste it as text. And the reason why you paste it as text is because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this again. I'm going to go down here, I'm going to paste special, I'm going to paste the values, but I'm also going to click on transpose. Transpose is going to turn that from a row into a column. And so there you have that. Now I'm going to go back into Eau Claire again and this time I'm going to pick average rainfall. And so for average rainfall because I picked Fahrenheit I'm going to stick with uh, US conventions and I'm going to pick precipitation for the year in inches and I'm going to go back into Excel. I'm just going to go ahead and paste right over that as text. And now I'm going to copy that again and I'm going to go paste special. I'm going to go values and transpose and OK. So now we have both our precipitation and our temperature in a climate graph when we look at climate we're what we're doing is we want to get an idea of what the precipitation average precipitation is like for a given month and in relation to the average temperature on the same graph so I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda of tweak this a little bit um, actually I don't even need to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and type in uh, precip and or actually temp Fahrenheit precip I am good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make the climate graph so to make the climate graph it's very much like what you were doing before hopefully it works for you is you're going to go insert and you're going to go column. You're going to make just a 2D. You don't really want to get fancy right now. If you want to get fancy, once you're familiar with this, feel free to do 3D or cylinder or whatnot. But I'm just going to go 2D column. And that gives me a bar graph, but with both precipitation and temperature. And what you might see is that's not really giving us a good assessment of our precipitation because the the scale isn't going to be reflected here so I'm just going to select precip and I'm going to change the ch series chart type and I'm going to change that to line I'm going to get hit OK as well now it's still it's a little better because now we can see the trend of precipitation but I still don't like it because of the fact that this y-axis it's still not really showing up so what I'd like to do is put its own y-axis right over here so I'm going to click on precipitation again right click on it and I'm going to go to format data series and in format data series I'm going to put plot series on secondary access and I'm going to hit close and now we have a secondary access and there you have it and now what you can do is we already have our axes in this case labeled. So what you're going to want, or our series labeled, so what you're going to want to do is label that axes right here. Uh, 
What you could even do is in front of this, you could go and have the different days of the month, or you could go months of the year right here and just leave it as is. And then over here, of course, label that as temperature. Label this as precipitation. So the viewer knows exactly what those are. And that's it. So, have fun.